what's going on guys this is AIB gaming here and welcome back to another episode of Twilight Traverse this is episode number nine and last episode we set up the storage draw system which is amazing because well hey my inventory is a freaking mess okay fine let me right click twice over here and now my inventory is off yep so useful so freaking useful I love this man also one thing I definitely forgot is our lighting issues over here so if we just put I think uh, the best thing we could go with is the fancy lamps from bibliocraft because well these lamps are pretty freaking good so uh, recipes uh, don't freaking work for some reason uh, <laughs> the bibliocraft look at this look how dark this place is guys so I think these bibliocraft fancy lamps are gonna work pretty fine and don't do that don't freaking do that come to my inventory please don't do weird things why are you doing that why are you doing that Seriously, why is that doing even doing that I, I just don't know I just don't know at this point uh, maybe it's because of placement issues of how I place it but yeah now that's all fixed yeah uh, there should be enough light so that no mobs spawn over here hopefully uh, let me just check oh mobs can spawn in the center and over here so looks like we need more lamps all right lighting problem is solved and now I think I want to actually lock my drawers using the R key uh, which can lock and unlock drawers so what this basically does uh, a good example to show would be prismarine okay so I take all my prismarine out it would still leave a slot for that prismarine even when I don't have prismarine in my stuff so once I right click even if I'm out of prismarine once I get some prismarine it will automatically put it in this slot which helps for buffers and once you run out uh, it helps to organize your inventory so that if you run out of an item you don't need to put it back again in the proper place so that basically it. yeah you you guys are freaking smart I why am I even explaining you you guys should know also this quantify key uh, tells the number uh, how much it has and you can show or hide the number using this uh, by default these things the frame draw uh, the regular draws show their number but the compacting draws don't because I've actually said that in the config in this mod pack so hopefully that should work on the compacting draws now and apparently that did it and now it should so now all of these should show their numbers yep there we go and uh, this is for concealment so you can either hide or show the labels if you want you can basically hide or show the labels uh, the thing is since these are tile entities these items actually create some lag uh, because if I look around over here I'm getting around 70 to 80 frames if I look around here it drops to around 50 to 40 like this is creating some lag so best we get out of here and go to the lower room which we are going to be working today and also immediately see the lighting issues yep we need to solve that as well but first thing what i want to do is i think which is the yeah this is the our entry point so i think i want to see the mob farm once i come in so what i want to do is we want to create a mob farm today in this room and apparently the block lag doesn't want me to do that it, it just doesn't want me to do that why, why are we getting some serious block lag we are getting some serious block lag yep this this just had had to be the day this has had to be the day when we are creating more farms live on camera because I actually want to use my meat creep cube uh, to do this because mob spawners have a range of an 8x8 eight eight, okay uh, uh, and what I want to do is I want to create a room of 9x9 nine nine. so I'm going to be 1, 2, okay wait 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 this should be the center and I'll mark it with a special block which could be um, what should we go for? We'll go with spruce planks. Never mind. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do what is this set to? It's set to pick up my items. I don't want it to pick up my items because I want my meat creep over here to clear out an area. Hey, you meat creep, you dying? Flatten an area. I'm gonna need a 9x9. Nine 9x9 by nine. Nine by nine is good enough. So I'm gonna create I'm gonna create one room over here using two meat creeps 
and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side because I want another mock farm just for creepers because you guys know how creepers go. They will blow everything up. And the problem with mock farms is that a like, skeleton like to randomly shoot, uh, shoot arrows sometimes. I don't know why. But if, if, if they do and that arrow decides to land on the creeper, then the creeper will decide, hey, skeleton, I don't want to blow you up. And it will go at the skeleton and it will blow the skeleton up. And in the process also blowing the entire mock farm up. So, which we definitely don't want to do. So, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a safe measure and do this over here. Which means that we'll be able to save the, uh, oh God, the block lag. Gosh, the block lag. Okay. I think I'm going to mark it with the andesite at uh, 9 by 9. I'm going to clear an uh, area of 9 by 9. And I'm getting some serious lag today. I don't know why. Uh, I don't even... It might be because I'm rendering a video right now. That might be the thing. Uh, yeah, these guys are going to clutter my inventory right now. Yep, it's going to happen. And this guy also is going to create a 9 by 9 room. And in the set over here, on the top of this, I'm going to put my mob spawners, which I have in this bag, in my black bag. They should have 33 mob spawners in them. Yep, all in the circles of holding. Yep, this is going to be good. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go this. And once these guys finish, we're going to build another 5x9x9 five by, uh, nine by nine room, 5 blocks underneath this. So that what will happen is basically we will be able to create first the spawning area. Then the next room will be the dropping area. We'll drop them down to a water level. We'll probably want to use some water. And we'll be able to capture everything. And the mobs will be And we'll take them to a killing mechanism, which we'll probably want to do using diamond spikes from cyclic because the diamond spikes from cyclic they are actually counted as uh, player kills because those diamond spikes work like the extra utilities diamond spikes and they use fake players to trick the mobs into dying okay they will kill the mobs and once they do they will uh, they will take the mob and uh, they will drop their xp and they will also drop all that garbage items like their armor their stuff as well uh, but the thing is that will uh, actually make us farm everything like blazes also like blazes require player kills so <laughs> JEI lag as well seriously yeah uh, diamond spikes powered by redstone kills uh, give experience and player only drops as well so this is gonna be good uh, <laughs> look at these decrease man look at these fools look at these free fools they're, they're, they're doing work for me I'm sitting there doing nothing and they're digging a room for me because well i'm lazy i'm too lazy you know guys i'm too lazy and digging as well they're getting more for me they're getting you <laughs> yeah this is insane and we can even go up here like oh my inventory is a mess i'm gonna right click over here and now my inventory is solved uh and solved yeah there we go and everything that was in my that will be solved uh, what is this? Oh, it's a timber. That's why it doesn't go in my thing because I don't have any timber over here. And all the ore obviously won't go because they need to be ground up in the furnace and the pulvers because the pulvers will duplicate it. And if you guys know the drill, you guys know the drill. You guys are freaking smart because our node will now be doubled. They will be duplicated. And now we are getting eight instead of getting eight from eight ingots from I don't know. We'll be getting. All right, the rooms are now all dug up. So we have a five hole as well uh, to mark the center. And I think I want to grab my meat creep cube again and repeat the action all over again because we would want the same thing. Uh, so just do that. Yep. And hopefully they dig over there. Yep. This should work. This should definitely work. And just do the same thing over here as well. Okay. Just do that. Yep. There you go. And that sh they should dig now another 9x9 nine nine hole and they should go 5 deep, uh, marking this as their roof and they should dig that as well. What I was thinking as a roof, I mean a, a roof, uh, walls, yeah, walls. <laughs> Sometimes I forget words. Yep, that happens. So uh, what I was thinking for the this thing, I was thinking maybe we could go 9x9 nine nine for this. Uh, these andesite bricks from chisel the encased bricks. Yeah, this this thing will work fine Yeah, it's supposed to look like a mob grinder uh, because well, it is a mob grinder. So I think this is a good look Yeah, I think that's uh, that's 
uh, fit well, that fits well with the entire grindy look thing. But, hey, I'm gonna kill some mobs. Hey, nice room. Such a peaceful room, you know. Just meant for killing. Such a peaceful room. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, also, oh, we're also getting andesite. Yeah, so we shouldn't be having a huge problem because if we run out, well, these me creeps are working hard for me to get more. So we should run out very soon. Yep, this is good. And also there are random hot spots. Uh, hot, hot spots. <laughs> I've been forgetting words lately. I've been forgetting words lately. Also these climbing gloves, sometimes they, they can get very annoying. I mean, they can help you climb up walls and stuff. But sometimes they're stupid. Oh god, they're stupidly annoying. Yeah, but I think they should work. Yeah, they should be digging down over there and hopefully they uh, choose to mine this as well because I do want them to mine. And honestly, like having this draw system helps so much because I don't need to sort anything. All I do is right click twice, everything is gone. Uh, most of the time. Uh, but sometimes like ores and stuff, ores obviously need to go over here whether there be anything. So ores, coal ore, everything. Uh, the coal ore, however, doesn't give you dust. It directly uh, gets converted to three coal. I mean, with fortune I could get more, but honestly, I don't care. Uh, I think I have, yeah, I do have fortune. But still, you know, I, I don't care. I have, honestly, I have so much coal right now that uh, I would potentially be voiding more coal <laughs> than I am getting right now because I'm just getting free coal from these me creeps right here. I have 67 blocks of coal which equals to 608 blo uh, 608 coal pieces of coal. Wow. Okay, seriously. I am seriously overpowered right now. And hopefully they start digging over here. Yeah, they are. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is all going to work great. And what I'm planning is I'm going to have my thing over here. No, not this. Not this. And I'm going to have my storage bag. And I'm going to put the spawners on top. All right. Just like this entire place is done. Uh, the me creeps did their work. And now it's my job. Uh, I think it's still set to the same thing. And so I should be easily be able to take my back my me creep over here. And just do this. Spam it. Yep. There we go. Nice, this is good. Uh, wait, what? Okay, go lag, block lag. There we go. But now this entire place should look much nicer. There we go. Yeah, this place is looking pretty nice. The encased bricks, I think, uh, works pretty well with this. It uh, fits the entire style of the mob grinder. Now comes the most important part, which is actually putting in the mob corners. Uh, actually, before that, we need to uh, do some over here because well we need to create the mob grinder okay and i think i should have enough andesite i think i do yeah there we go uh the stone can just go away just go yeah um so now i think i'm gonna grab again my me creep cube okay so let's just take this okay and i think i'm gonna tell my me creeps over here just move my chisel uh over here and i'm gonna tell them dig a, a hole straight down to bedrock uh dig straight down to bedrock there we go and do two over here so they will help me do tw twice the work there we go and just, just i i cannot find any ladders wait you need ladders to work that seriously are you that stupid uh, okay please stop now then because that's stupid then if you need to dig down just to dig down straight down you need ladders to do that. So, oh, so you can. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So maybe I'll give them ladders. Yeah, that should be fine. So that means I can actually control how many. That's actually very smart. So if I give them 20 ladders, they will dig 20 and up and more ladders. Then you can just get rid of them and you have done a ladder thing for 20 blocks. That is pretty smart. Ah, nice. Okay. Or am I the only smart guy to figure that out? <laughs> okay, I'm definitely not the most smart guy who could figure out these things on his own. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to make some ladders. Yeah. Alright, these rooms are completely ready. And if you see the dropout area over there, that actually leads to 
this room over here, which I perfectly planned for, and over here we have some diamond spikes, which will turn on if we give them redstone signal. Uh, so what I was planning is I would have these blocks over here covering everything up so that basically uh, nothing wrong happens. And I was yeah I was gonna put these uh, item collectors, uh, which are basically these vacuum chests, which can basically work, right? So I, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that seems fine. And oh, that actually powers this, right? Yeah, it requires redstone, so that actually powers this. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do this to a three by three. Uh, no, I misplaced that. I need to do this a three by three. Yeah, that should work. And this should, uh, yeah, there we go. And that should pick up all items from there through blocks also. So which will work pretty fine, right? And I think I'm gonna do another one over here. And we're gonna twice. Uh, twice, yeah, there we go. And we're gonna do this too. Uh, no, not that. Uh, we're gonna do this one also to a three by three uh, because that will give us the maximum chance of picking up items so that we don't uh, miss any items basically uh, and this one should also work there we go and i think i had a hole over here i'm going to use the item extraction tables which actually have a texture change which i love man the old texture for these things looked horrible honestly just <laughs> i'm straight up going to the cyclic mod developer i'm going to be like hey you you had for your old item extraction cables they, they kind of looked horrible uh, but these words look pretty nice so I'm pretty happy with you thank you so much man uh, also just do yeah I don't know what I'm doing I can just do that and I think I should have another hole over here to uh, let me out and that should work pretty fine and these apparently near pickaxe nowadays I don't know why uh, the extraction cables if you put another one over here uh, what these extraction cables are basically if you don't know pipes modded pipes okay they, they will extract items uh, from over that vacuum hopper uh, uh, item collector and it's basically gonna take uh, that's gonna uh, take all the items through the blocks get, catch all those items and these item cables are gonna transfer all those items over to these storage rods which we wanted to do of course and it will store them in the storage draw system. And what I'm gonna do is, where is my hole? Where is my freaking hole? There we go. And I was gonna put uh, all the, I think I'm gonna move all my mob drops and everything over here because I think it's better to have everything centralized. 